Hey guys, I am here in my dining room packing the Love and Stampin' monthly kits and I just thought I would show you really quick what all is in them for the month of January. Um, I actually have been really excited to send this kit because it's all Valentine-y. So I'm gonna show you that. Okay, so this month, um, January is already closed. So if you're interested in getting involved in the Love and Stampin' monthly kits, you can do that and join by February 20th. And we are going to focus in on some kind of like springtime stuff. But this is what people got in January. We focused in on Valentine's. So there's card kits. There are four card kits. And they're packaged individually with all their pieces inside. Aren't those cute? And so they each get one of these. There's four cards total and this is the card and then everybody is going to get this little packet right here and it has doilies in it ribbon that's five yards of ribbon and a pack of the from my heart faceted gems everyone will receive a designer series paper pack it's a quarter of a pack of paper and everybody's gonna get this little gift from me that's got some chocolate because you gotta have chocolate while you're crafting, right? So I'm hoping that these mail okay. They might end up squished. That's why we put them in a cello bag so that if they did end up coming open, the um, candy would not go all over the package. So there's that. And then I always include a little letter that just tells them, what to expect from Love and Stampin' Monthly. And then the cool thing about Love and Stampin' Monthly is you get this punch card. And when you get Love and Stampin' Monthly six months in a row, you mark each box off with the date. And then you get to choose $25 in free product of your choice after your six month. So I have some people coming up on that pretty soon. So that's pretty exciting. They're gonna get to choose free product and then it'll just come in their package um, when, that following month. So super simple and fun club to be part of. I also purchased these this month and I'm gonna put them on the outside of everybody's packages. Um, I haven't had any complaints, but I just wanna make sure nobody's stuff gets bent. And then of course we have all of our prizes that we gave away this month. So we do lots of prizes every single month for anybody who's part of the club. And so all of these people won something. There's nine prizes in here total. And so we're going to package those with their kits. That's it. Here, I, Here's my little packaging station. So I've started packaging up the kits and the paper. And then the other two things will get put in the bag separately. And you always have an option to add the stamp set or bundle on. So we had one person do that this month. I think a lot of people just already had purchased that because um, usually we have more than one one that buys it. So, um, and you save a little money when you purchase through the club. Okay, that's it. Let's get crafty and I'll show you the thank you gift that I'm going to send to everybody in the month of February. Okay, so this is the project that um, well, I guess the gift that my Love and Stampin' Monthly folks are going to receive. This video quality is not the greatest because it was recorded on Facebook and then I'm just voiceovering it. So these are our full mount stamp cases. They hold wood mount stamps, but I decided it'd be really fun to make it super cute and dress it up to give as a gift and all of their goodies will be included inside the box. This is the new Please Does Punch Designer Series paper and you need to cut it at seven by 11 and a quarter. And quickly I realized that I did not trim it down when I go to put it in here. So this is um, 12 inches, so I needed to just grab my paper trimmer really quick and go ahead and trim it down to 11 and a quarter. Um, so a really fun way to give a gift or to dress up uh, I don't know, even a, a grouping of cards you're going to give to somebody is to purchase some of these wood mount stamp cases and then 
put designer series paper inside of them and it immediately makes the box really attractive and cute. So as you can see here, I'm going to slide this in and then I will have um, a decorative box. I am going to do a little bit of stamping for the front of it, but not a lot. And then um, anybody who is part of the February club will receive this box decorated and then they will receive all their card kits inside along with some other fun gifts. Um, and I am throwing in a free gift this month of a sampler pack of the new Please Does Punch designer series paper. So I wanted to make sure that my club members got their hands on some of that paper because it is just so stinking cute and it coordinates with the Under My Umbrella um, uh, punch and the bundle, basically. So I thought since that is my featured bundle this month in my club, it would be fun for them to have designer series paper that coordinated with that. Again, sorry here about the video quality. It's not the best. This was recorded on Facebook, so um, it's a little bit sketchy. I've actually been asked why the video quality isn't as good when it's recorded live on Facebook, and I think that that just has to do with it being streamed over the internet. Um, you're only going to get so, so good of video quality. I actually have the highest speed internet I can have, and so... You know, I don't think there's much more I could do in that regard, but yeah, that's why. So I'm using Pull Party ink, and I've cut that little strip of Pull Party cardstock to one inch by five inches, used tear and tape adhesive, and added it to the front of the box. And then I'm going to use this little sentiment from the Under My Umbrella stamp set. Um, it says something like, life showers bring love's flowers. So I thought that would be cute to go on the front of the box. But if you are part of my club, you would get to order this bundle free of tax and shipping. So that is a benefit or a perk of being in my stamp club is that anybody who purchases the product that's that would be featured that month from me gets to save tax and shipping on that product. So that's kind of a cool perk of being part of the club. I'm going to use this punch here. This punch was part of a box set. Um, so you can still purchase the box set, but you can't purchase this punch on its own, just as an FYI. Um, and then I've got Stampin' Dimensionals that I'm going to pop it up with. And here I'm explaining all of that to my Facebook fans uh, and followers that, you know, you can't purchase this punch by itself. And it came in one of those tin boxes so you would have to purchase the box set in order to get the punch. Um, apparently I talked about it for a really long time. Let's move on, Wendy. So I'm using Pull Party ink to stamp the sentiment if I ever decide to move past pointing this punch out. It is a really cute punch, isn't it? But um, yeah, so anyway, I'm using Pull Party ink to stamp the sentiment, or I already did that, and then I'm using Stampin' Dimensionals to pop the little label up and add it to the front of the box. The great thing about the way we are packaging and giving our gift this month is that it will be um, a great way to keep all of their supplies nice and neat inside. So when it goes through the mail, they don't have to worry about getting crushed and messed up. Um, last month, you saw earlier in this video, I gave away those little heart tins. Some people received the heart tins perfect. Other people received it crushed. And unfortunately, that was just a good lesson for me. Do not send stuff that can crumble through the mail. Um, luckily, everybody's candy stayed intact. There will definitely be candy added to this card gift box as well. So that is the box that they're going to receive for free for being part of the club. And I'm just wanting to give you a few details on the club. So it is a monthly club. It closes on the 20th of every month. So on the 20th of the month is the last day that you can sign up for the club. It is a subscription. It's $35 a month. That includes $20 in product. It includes the shipping. So there's no additional shipping fee to you. Um, again, $20 in product, 
free shipping, and then it also uh, includes card kits. The minimum amount of card kits it will include is four. Um, there have been a couple months where I, I actually provide more than that, but four card kits is the baseline. And then I do a special video and a really nice PDF printable. So you get a lot for the value. If you're interested in signing up, there is a link below. Uh, shop with me at shoploveandstampin.com. Click either one of the little pictures you see here to watch those videos. And I hope you have an amazing day. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.